My name is Michael Burton. Um, I'm based in London, uh, where I work as an artist. And I have uh, three pieces here. This is Astronomical Bodies, and maybe I'll start here. Astronomical Bodies is based on the research of Dr. Terence Key from the University of Leeds. And he's researching um, the question, where did phosphorus come from uh, in the origin of life on Earth? Which is something that's kind of baffled scientists and researchers for some time um, on early Earth. Phosphorus, which is a major component of life and found in DNA and bones and pretty much many syst biological systems, um, was all locked up in rocks um, and not available to become life. So he was looking for a more reactive form of phosphorus. So he um, has been extracting an alien form of phosphorus um, called phosphonite and phosphonite from meteorites. And so what he's been doing is extracting that extraterrestrial phosphorus, mixing it up with other key chemicals that form life, and trying to get to a point um, of the chemical structures that point towards um, a pre-RNA, kind of pre-DNA life kind of form. So um, my point going on from his research is to look at, okay, so what is our relationship with space as an origin from this spatial system that's going on. And also we think of our enclosed systems on Earth, the cycling of chemicals, very contained, but actually what his research is suggesting is that we are exchanging and receiving chemicals all the time. So actually it's quite a natural process of, um, yeah, life may be elsewhere because things are exchanging all the time, just as we are products of this astronomical system. So I wanted to reverse that and collect chemicals from the body to make meteorites of man-made meteorites to then send back out. And it's different to the traditional kind of uh, panspermia idea that was popular in the 60s and onwards, um, because instead of life jumping from planet to planet, like bacteria, in rocks going to different things. Um, this is actually questioning the origin of life is chemicals coming together. So I extracted phosphorus from urine, which naturally builds into kidney stones in the body. So I tried to make this man-made kidney stone meteorite that then would form the casing for key chemicals uh, to to be inside to then seed elsewhere. The system diagram maps out phosphorus coming from um, created in gas nebula clouds or in the meteorite belt, coming from through meteorites to earth to form life, and then uh, passing through the body, collecting, making man-made meteorites. Then I propose are sent to somewhere like Europa, which is a moon of Jupiter, which might be suitable for life, or life might already exist there. So my second piece in, in this uh, show is uh, the solar storm sensor. Um, and this is very much looking at how um, solar space storm affects us biologically and even the bigger systems that we rely on. Researchers have found a link towards um, periods of depression and suicide directly with solar storms. So I'm really interested in, in this sense of prediction and how things way beyond Earth really affect us emotionally. Um, and things, systems like the weather system of Earth and um, the stock market as well. So some quite abstract things are affected by the sun's activity. So the solar storm acts like a, almost like a barometer really, and it's a future thing that we might have in our homes to tell us perhaps why we might be feeling depressed or suicidal or to be aware that stocks may drop or change. Um, so this sort of sensor interprets that and gives it that information back to us in a more meaningful way um, to live with the activity of the sun.